Hi, welcome. I'm Nikki Lewinson on Team Champanosian here with true experts in the real estate industry, Ellen Gruber and Alice Lippman. They're an amazing team. And we're excited to walk you through a little bit of an overview of the home buying process. Um, like I said, I work with Sean Panosian. He's the number one loan originator in the country out of 500,000 loan originators. And we're right here in Massachusetts. And on the right hand side are a really great, is a really great photo of Ellen and Janice and Frida. Yes, Frida. 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 Ooh, good thing I got that right. I knew it was Frida, but you never know. Maybe you're posing with another person's dog. Um, she might jump in in a minute. <laughs> I, I hope so. I hope she does. So today what we're going to cover and really Ellen and Janice are going to cover is a full overview of the process, consultation, the buying process, best practices for creating a winning strategy, which they're experts at, a breakdown of the parties involved, question and answers, and next steps. Uh, one of the things I'll tell you is if you stay to the end, you will also um, not only know what your next steps are, but they'll reach out to you and set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation, which I highly recommend. Um, our team has worked with Ellen and Janice and their whole team for a long time, and they are incredible. They'll make sure you get everything you, you hope for and have good expectations going in. So it's, it's, it's wonderful. All right. With that, why don't you guys tell us a little bit about yourselves, who you are, how you got started and, and what you've been doing. So I'm Ellen. And I'm Janice. Um, and we've been selling real estate for over 20 years, although I did sell real estate in the late 80s. I've always been in sales um, and real estate has always been um, my passion and our passion. We, as a couple, have been together for over 38 years. Yeah. And um, we've owned homes since we were in our late 20s. So we're very versed in both personally the market as well as um, working with buyers and sellers throughout the JP and surrounding neighborhoods. And just to add to that, um, I had a 21 year career in uh, live entertainment and I helped to renovate and uh, restore theaters downtown. So I have a love of architecture and design. So um, when I'm looking at homes, I'm not just looking at the home, uh, you know, structurally, I'm looking at it uh, design wise and certainly can help my buyers to uh, suss out whether these are good finishes, you know, high end finishes, you know, and beautiful details of properties. Um, so our team um, is a, a large group. We have um, five agents on our team, as well as a client services manager and a marketing and social media manager. And the goal is to create a very seamless approach for you as a, whether it's a first time home buyer or a trade up buyer, someone that's owned property and now is looking to upgrade to their next home. We can provide full service um, and all of your needs throughout the Boston area. And one other thing about your team that I think is, is amazing is that, and it's, I think it's an underrated resource, but anyone that I run into in the real estate world, in the greater Boston area, and I'm not just talking about JP or Boston proper, like anywhere, if your name comes up, they're like, I love Ellen and Janice. So <laughs> the, the network you've built in the community of realtors and other professionals in the business is so helpful for your clients as they go to look because people not only like you and they don't just like you because you're nice people, which you are, but they like you because they can trust what you say. Like when you bring a buyer there to them, like your buyer can perform, like you're gonna do the right thing in every situation. And I think that that reputation in the real estate industry is so important because it's always a group you know, it's always like buyer wants to buy, seller wants to sell. There's two parties involved and like, we need to make it happen. And so that reputation, I think goes a very long way for your clients. Well, thanks for that, Nikki. And I mean, one of the really great things about what you're saying is that we team up with your team with Sean, because it takes a village to be able to buy a property. And there are two sides. There's the buyer side and the seller side as Nikki said, and then there's the buyer's agent and the seller or listing agent. Then there's the mortgage broker and then there's their attorney and there's the home inspector. And if you don't have a team that works really well together, it, it's not gonna be a great experience. And a lot of times 
we create moving can be stressful. So what you're doing does add inherently some stress to your life. So the process needs to go as seamless. And by doing so with our group and our team is really bar none. To be an agent on our team, you have to have good, kind soul, good qualities, a good heart. You need to be able to hear what your clients are saying and do the very best job for them. If you do that, then the money follows, but you're never about the money. You're always about a good job and then you get what you get after that and you have people that love their homes. Yeah, I love that. All right, so with all of that, why don't you walk us through a little bit about, and, and just briefly, because I know everyone who comes on this is going to wanna to set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you after. Um, but just briefly, what's the roadmap? And I know we have a slide in here with a roadmap, um, a brief mm -hmm. overview of the process when you when somebody's thinking about buying a home to uh, sitting down and getting a consultation with you through actually the final walkthrough. What's typically the process for you folks? So the buyer consultation is super important to sit down and get to know each other, make sure that we want to work together. Um, before COVID, of course, this was always done in person. Now, depending on one's comfort level, we'll meet you, you know, wherever, outside, you know, in a coffee shop, um, we'll meet you virtually. So whatever works best, we will do. Um, but during that consultation, we try to keep it to about 45 minutes to an hour. We go through, um, you know, a little bit about us. We learn a little bit about the buyers. Uh, find out what they're looking for, um, you know, what's their timeline, how quickly do they want to move, um, do they know what their um, uh, financial, you know, ceiling is, what they want to pay for a new home and what their monthly looks like. That's where Sean and his team comes in to be able to give them that information. Um, we'll go through the process, you know, the step-by-step -step process and really break it down and go through and I think when you break it down into those small pieces, the buyers now know it's not overwhelming. It's like, oh, I'm going to have somebody, you know, and a great agent to walk me through this and, you know, be able to be there every step of the way. We used to like to go shopping with our clients, however, and still do. And still do. However, um, when it was so competitive, uh, you know, sometimes it was an open house one and done. And, you know, we couldn't, you know, actually go to the open house with our clients. But if we can uh, set up private showings, we would do that as well. I mean, part, part of, you know, when is the right time to sit down and talk with somebody and do this consultation? I actually want somebody to call me and say, I might not be buying in the next three to six months because it actually gives us a chance to educate them on how you buy, what the process is, but more important what are your needs, wants, and desires? You know, if you're a first time home buyer, you might think you want one thing in a kitchen or one thing in a dining room or one thing in a bathroom, but you don't really know because the options and the choices are endless. So to be able to take you shopping, to be able to ask the questions, first floor, second floor, third floor, open space, closed space, are you gonna celebrate the holidays in your house? All of those things like how the feel and the form fit. Um, it's so much better to create a little bit of a, a roadmap so that when you find the best home, you've already have seen things and you know what's out there and what's possible. Um, that's the crux. Being prepared is really, really important um, as we get going on the rest of the parts and pieces. We're also going to guide. Too. Oh, go ahead. No, no, no I was just going to say, just to add one thing, we're also going to guide our buyers in terms of, you know, um, not overpaying or at least understanding the market and giving them um, comparable properties and that data of like what has sold, you still want to know from where properties have been as they've come on the market and what they've closed out for. And just giving them that information is really helpful. Yeah, Nikki, we what are you going to say? We always say too, like it's never too early to start the process because even on the mortgage side, you know, we'll run people's, we'll look at their credit income and assets. If there's something going on, maybe they didn't know there's a blip on their credit report. We've all seen it. It's like all too common. We can use that time to get it fixed or help them get it fixed so that they can put themselves in the best situation 
and right. really um, use that time wisely. Also, when we do that early, people then have a good idea of what they they can max afford, but then also what they want to afford. And that also shapes their search, right? Well, so and it's also right. And it's, you know, what, you know, what does I can go up to, I'm just throwing out a number. I can go up to 750. My comfort is six. What does that look like? Which towns is that work in? I mean, Massachusetts is not ginormous, but you know, there's still lots of north of the city, west of the city, south of the city, in the city. So if you don't start a little bit earlier, you're not going to get any of that education. So that's really the key. Um, the other parts and pieces kind of, you know, in looking at the roadmap, you know, we work along those lines. Um, you know, there's a lot of also misinformation about the market. And so, you know, we can talk about that a little bit further, but um, real estate is always very important to own as part of your financial portfolio. And we're going to work through on how um, that all works with you and what makes the most sense. You know, as far as the rest of the roadmap, um, every, you know, besides buyer consultation and get pre-approval, everything else is going forward and you found a home that you love. Um, making an offer, you know, what does that mean? How I look at it, because I'm more of an emotional buyer. I make, if I'm making an offer, it's because I fall in love and I need to drink that cup of coffee or sit on the deck and have a a glass of wine. If Janice was making that offer, she might be looking more on the, the numbers work. <laughs> and, you know, both of those are the right, there's not a right or wrong answer, but it is both uh, people buy differently and people react to things differently. So, um, you know, that's the part of what, how do I know when to make an offer? You know, if the property went away tomorrow, would you be sad? That's really when you make an offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, and what's great is um, the ability and the way you guys walk your clients through the offer, like they don't need to know how to do that. Like no one, even if you've bought before and this is your second, third, fourth time, it's changed. It changes how to make your offer attractive, mm -hmm. um, what protections you want in there. And you guys will walk your clients through that the whole, the whole way. Correct. Absolutely. And the one thing I do remind buyers of is that you're buying a home because you want to live there. And, you know, so even though the numbers are important and the data is important, ultimately, this is where your, you know, dreams are going to come true. Your memories are going to be made. You're buying a home. And COVID taught us that there's nothing more important than where you live. That is so true. That is so true. So once you get the, um, once you submit the offer and your, your client's offer is accepted, um, and just so we cover some of the mortgage piece too here, we, we do four things when you get a, a pre-approval with our team. One, we, um, we will always be available 24 seven to crunch those numbers when you do find the, the house or property you want. So when we work with Ellen and Janice, if somebody has a question, you know, you find your dream house, you need to have a cup of coffee on the porch and you need to buy this one, you can call our team. We'll let you know exactly what your monthly payments are going to look like and your closing mm -hmm. costs and your down payment options are. So when you make that offer, you can be super empowered. Um, the other thing we go over is strategic dates. So we can close if you do um, your mortgage work up front, we can close in 21 days from offer. Or if you get your offer accepted and you have your solid pre-approval, it's 30 days or we always can do it a little quicker if needed. Um, and then we also call the listing agent and let them know, hey, we've looked at this person's credit income and assets. This is who we are. If we put our name on something, it will close. So we want you to feel super confident about your financing piece. Um, and we walk you through all of that. I know you folks have good inspectors you recommend if people need it. And you guys have great attorneys you work with um, yep. to make sure they're taken care of for the purchase and sale agreement. And we order the appraisal right away. The homeowner's insurance, um, we can give you a recommendation. Ellen and Janice can give you a recommendation. And once you have your loan reviewed and you're clear to close, it's the final walkthrough. Right, right. Exciting, exciting. <laughs> and throughout all of these steps, we will work with you on, you know, we've already picked the mortgage lender, the attorney. Um, if it's a condo, um, you know, the attorney wears multiple hats. The attorney is going to close the loan for the bank but the attorney also has to draft what's called a purchase and sale 
or work with, I should say, the seller's attorney for the documents, and the attorney is going to review the condo docs and the budgets up front. Now, mind you, the attorney is going to review this, but if there's anything that we need to know about said condo, um, we're going to find out even before you make the offer, right? Is the condo healthy? Is there money in reserves? Is it pet friendly? We're not going to make an offer if the building looks like it's falling apart and there's no money in reserves. But the attorney- Or if I have really... an 80 pound dog. Right, exactly, <laughs> right. exactly. <laughs> so the attorney is going to work with you on all of that. And then the home inspector, they're the person that's going to come in really review the property for you on your behalf and see if there's anything we need to ask to repair um, or walk away or we're good to go. Again, or, or, get, or get money off. Or get money house. off. The hope though, is you've walked through the property before you've made an offer so you know what to expect. Um, mm -hmm. So we really try to, you know, we don't want to make an offer on something we think is going to fall apart at the inspection. That's a lot of time and money. No, we would tell you to run for the hills. <laughs> So, um, and that's the team, you know, people always say, well, you recommend these people because you get money. And I mean, I just want to, there's no, you're not allowed any kickbacks. There's none of that allowed in the business. We recommend people because they do a good job for our clients and hence we get referrals and the team is great. And that's how this works. Yeah. You know? When it comes to the buyer's attorney also being the lender's attorney, that's like another question that comes up a lot. And the reason why that is the case in Massachusetts is because the lender and the buyer have the same interest in mind, clean title for the property. So the lender wants to make sure the property is has no title issues or anything. And the um, attorney also wants to make sure that buyer is protected. So you guys, the bank and the buyer have a lot in common in that moment, a lot of money yeah. in common in that moment, yeah, for sure. Exactly. Um, all right, so a quick mortgage market update. And what we'll do is we'll send um, to anyone who, who meets with Ellen and Janice, we'll send you a video of a mortgage market update. You can also call Shant. Um, they'll send an intro email and um, you can chat with him anytime anyone on our team is happy to talk. But one thing our team does do is once we pre-approve you, we offer to completely take you through the mortgage process before you find the house. That way you can close quicker and have a little bit less of um, the work to do after you find the house. You can focus on packing and picking out window treatments and all that Shopping. good stuff. <laughs> Shopping. Fun. Right, the fun stuff. Um, so we'll walk you through all of that uh, once you call over to find out what you're pre-approved for and how the process works. We'll also tell you all the fees up front so you have no surprises. This isn't like a birthday where you want to walk in and have balloons and clown. I'm not sure you want that anyway, but, <laughs> but um, you'll know everything up front. We'll walk you through, we'll walk you through options with gift funds, different loan products, um, different down payment options, everything. So you can have all your lending questions answered. One great thing is if the interest rates tick up like this this week, they have ticked up slightly. I mean, there's still historic lows, but every six months, if you close with our team, we review your mortgage. So if, if it's a good idea for you to um, refinance or you know change anything with your loan product, every six months we call you, you get emails from us, a carrier pigeon, and we do a semi-annual mortgage <laughs> review. So you're never stuck with this rate um, unless you want to be, right? So that's always a good thing to know. We actually have a few questions. Are you guys ready? Sure. sure. All right. First question that just came in. Do, do I pay a buyer agent? Oh, I love that question. Thank you. So um, when you list a property, the listing agent with, so the answer is yes. It's really a yes and no. Um, so when you list a property, the listing agent works with their agent, with the seller, I'm sorry, to create the commission. And that commission is typically five or 6%. Of that percentage of that commission, a portion of that goes to your buyer's agent, which is really the buyer agent and their brokerage. So hence we work at Compass. So yes, the commission is included in your purchase price, but you as a buyer cannot say, I don't wanna pay commission if you do that, it just goes to the listing broker and you have no representation. So um, so it's a yes and no, but in theory, you do not pay for your buyer agent. So to simplify, it's Sorry. built, it's built in, <laughs> it's built in to the list price. 
And you know, one thing I always think is so interesting is people don't realize that if they choose not to have a buyer agent, somebody's getting paid that money anyway. Correct. That's correct. That's correct. You're <laughs> they not just, as like you said, they anything. just don't have the representation. So it's you're no one's getting a deal by not no. using an agent. Exactly. No. Okay, very good. Uh, you got more questions here. What area do you most work in? And if I want to work with you, this is a long question, and you don't cover the area, can you still help me? Um, I can take that one. So our core business is what I would call the greater Boston area. So, you know, really within 128 to the city. Um, we have several agents on our team that live in uh, various locations, and they may be the better buyer agent to pair you with um, because, uh, you know, logistically they can, you know, help you better in those communities or those towns. Um, if it's really far afield, we can still help you by referring you to a great agent that's located uh, in the town that you want to look in that's really outside of 128 and it's pretty far away. Okay, that's super helpful. Um, so really they can call you for anywhere. And if you can't help them on your team, you have an awesome person to help them. Well, and not only that, they can really, yes. And not only that, if there was someone that they knew that was moving to Chicago, we can also help them. Not only can we help them by referring them to a great agent in Chicago that we've already vetted and know, so they at least save them the time of trying to swim through Sean and his team can also help them with financing in Chicago. Yeah. So we can still be, you know, your team. And, you know, although we wouldn't be your buyer agent, we can certainly help and oversee the agent that we refer to. And we do that all the time. So it really, we are, we can be one-stop shopping. Right. Compass is national and we have agents in just about every major city across the country. One thing I love about that too, is I feel like you know better questions to vet an agent than I would, or a person you know, in, in the business would, uh, not in the business would. So it's a great way to really have like the best of the best, know what to ask to know who's good, not just in marketing, but in, in every regard, negotiation and- Exactly, mm -hmm. kindness and the know. whole thing, so. Well, amazing. We don't have any other questions right now. Do you have anything you want to add? And it, after that, I'll go through how people can get in touch with you. Um, I would just, I just really want to add that I know that the climate for buying has been very nerve wracking for many people. Um, Janice and I have been very successful um, navigating through the market. But having a conversation and being educated doesn't mean that you're going to buy something tomorrow. It just means that you're getting all the facts and all the data. And I think it's really, really important. We know that owning a home builds wealth. Um, it's better in the long run to do that. And we just want to really help you get started on your journey. Because we've been in the business for 20 years, you know, some of our clients, you know, they bought condos with us in 2005. And it was very, and now they've, you know, they've sold their condo with us. And now we've helped them buy a house and they're having children. And so we've really been on the journey with many of our young people for 20 years. And that's, that's who we are and that's what we want. So it's never, you know, you're never bothering us if you have a question right. or just wanting some more information. Right. We're never going to be like the hard sell. You've got to buy. It has to be right for you. And um, we're just here. We just want to be, you know, your advocates, your advisors. Um, we just want to help to educate you. And, you know, no matter what it's about, we'll, we'll happy, to, you know, we're happy to answer whatever questions you have. Amazing. So for the next steps for anyone watching today or in the future, please reach out to Janice and Ellen to set up that one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one consultation. They'll reach out to you as well. Once you register for this webinar, uh, we will be sure to follow up with you to answer all your questions about your search, help you set expectations or set expectations with you and help you get started. You're in no better hands than with Ellen and Janice, whether you're buying in JP, greater Boston area, or if I were moving to um, Louisville, Kentucky, I would call them and have them pick an agent for me. I can say that hands down. I feel amazing. Um, everything I've seen them do over the years is just really take care of their clients and help them win. Uh, 
Also, you'll get a personalized introduction to Shant and my team here. Uh, we'll walk you through the entire pre-approval process, start to finish, and answer any lending questions you have. Also, um, if you're not quite ready to buy yet, and we uh, we addressed this briefly, it's still it's really still important. Really you can go ahead and set up a call. Um, a call, a consultation. I can't tell you how many times people have said, I'm not going to be ready for a few years. And then they sit down and have a consultation and call about a pre-approval. And all of a sudden, they're really excited to buy something sooner and they see something. Has that happened to you guys a ton? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's like the not being ready to buy sometimes is just, I'm not sure what it's going to take. And when you realize you have experts to walk you through and make it easy, sometimes it means sooner. And sometimes yeah. it means longer and that's okay too. Those are our most prepared buyers, right? They know every in, in and out of what they want. And uh, it's important to get to get what you want in this, in this um, moment of life. So we'll be reaching out to you. You can feel free to reach out to Ellen and Janice team at compass.com and their cell phone is on here as well. I personally know they get back to people in like half a second. It's amazing. <laughs> and our team will do that as well. Thank you so much, Thanks. Ellen and Janet. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank Such you. Really Such appreciate it. Yeah. And thanks everyone for joining us today. Thank you. Thank Have you. a good day. Bye-bye.